If Cruz gets the nomination, I will not be voting for him as well, probably. 100,000, or what would Trump say, 80,000 new, um, new Republicans that were no before didn't register. They won't be voting for him either. And he keeps getting closer and closer to Trump in national polls and stuff. Well, it doesn't matter because he's not going to win. He's not going to get the Democrats. I'm not voting for Cruz. He's a traitor. And he thinks he's going to get all the Trump people to flip over for him. He's in for a big surprise because Trump isn't even going to go third party. Trump is going to start a revolution, right? Trump is going to start a big fight. And people are going to side with Trump. And Cruz isn't going to get the votes. And people aren't going to stand for Hillary for eight years. People are going to stand up like they did in, in Egypt. They're going to go crazy and they're going to overthrow their leader and get a new one and start a new election. Maybe that's what we should do because that would be the best idea because I'm not going to go for Cruz. Cruz is bought and paid for by Jeb Bush. And Glenn Beck and Ted Cruz, you're going to be exposed for your magic underwear loving stuff just like Romney was because Romney totally lost because he's a weird Mormon. Glenn Beck's a weird Mormon. And Ted Cruz associating with the Mormons is hella weird because they love magic underwear. And apparently Utah likes magic underwear. So in Wisconsin, Cruz is leading by one or two points in his poll, but it doesn't mean he's going to win that state. And I hope they expose Cruz for his wife's Goldman Sachs crap and the magic underwear. Uh, what's his face? Glenn Beck. That's how important he is. So Cruz, you're not going to get any votes. Not for me, because you're a traitor and a liar.